Hello, my name is Mike Rio, and I'm a Senior Solutions Architect with MongoDB, based in Toronto, Canada. And I'm here to take a few minutes of your time to talk about MongoDB Atlas, MongoDB's fully managed database as a service solution. Let's get started. Imagine that you have an idea for a project that can take advantage of MongoDB's vast array of feature and functionalities, such as its flexible data model, or its inherent high availability and disaster recovery. You want to get started immediately, but the data has to reside somewhere. Typical on-premise deployments have you spending weeks, if not months, worrying about procuring multiple server instances, installing and setting up operating systems, configuring networks with the proper security and role-based access controls in place, installing the proper dependencies, ensuring you are following MongoDB best practices, along with many manual steps in between. You can instead, with a few clicks of a button, choose which MongoDB version you want deployed, where your data is stored and with what cloud provider, instance size, deployment architecture, backup strategy, and have it all deployed in minutes, if not seconds. It's quite common that you've already prototyped your application using the community version of MongoDB. Or it's even possible that you are already in production but want to offload the operation side of the project so your team can focus solely on innovation. Migrations from ground to cloud, especially zero downtime migrations, are always tricky and sometimes an insurmountable task. Utilizing MongoDB's live migration tool, MongoMir, Midnight maintenance windows are now a thing of the past. MongoMir utilizes MongoDB's inherent replication techniques, such as replica set clustering and tailing our uplock. This allows your existing MongoDB cluster, whether that is an on-premise or in another cloud instance, to replicate its data to a MongoDB atlas, both securely using SSL and IP whitelisting, and in an always-on fashion meaning your live cluster is still accepting its normal traffic. Once the replication is finished and your new Atlas cluster is in sync, you can point your app servers over to your shiny new Atlas cluster. Now that you have your data in Atlas, you may have team members who want to get a better sense of what the data looks like sitting in Mongo. You can point a Mongo shell and run some queries, sure, you could also utilize Atlas's Data Explorer to visually explore your data and run queries and get responses immediately from your database. Another useful feature of Data Explorer is that you can view information about your indexes, including index usage statistics. This will help you keep your databases lean and efficient. Now that you have an application running against your Atlas cluster, you probably want to see how it's performing. Database metrics like operations per second, hottest collections, slowest operation, and disk utilization are most likely all important to you to ensure that your application is performing up to SLAs and general peace of mind. Not to mention to help diagnose issues when things aren't performing as expected. Atlas captures these metrics along with dozens more in a real-time fashion to give instant actionable information with our real-time performance panel. For example, if you notice that after a few months of growth, your queries have significantly slowed, looking at your various metrics, you notice that the number of page faults have skyrocketed, requiring more disk seeks. We know now that we can simply increase the RAM to ensure the working set fits in memory, or rework our document model to increase query efficiency. Of course, you can't have eyes on all of the metrics 24 hours a day. MongoDB Atlas gives an exceptionally rich set of alerting functionality right from the Atlas UI. MongoDB Atlas will give you the ability to send automatic notifications when your database operations or server usage reach defined thresholds that affect your cluster's performance. For example, if we see that our disk utilization is approaching 80%, we can send a notification to our DevOps team via popular channels such as Slack or Flowdoc. Okay, so now we have data in our MongoDB Atlas cluster, and we are about to go into or just started production. We understand that if we lose data due to corruption, catastrophe, or otherwise, our business is going to lose revenue. We need a backup strategy. Enter Atlas queryable backups. 
MongoDB Atlas lets you choose how finely grained you want to take snapshots of your database. Whether that's every few hours, once per day, week, month, and how long you store those for. We also give you full point in time recovery utilizing our MongoDB Oplog. With both of those features, you are able to restore the database to absolutely any state, down to the operational level of granularity. Although that gives you great security in knowing that you can restore your database to any point in time that you want, running a full database restore is often a cumbersome and lengthy task. What if you had a clumsy DBA drop a small chunk of data and you only want to restore that small chunk? Well, with Atlas queryable snapshots, it's quite simple. You open up a tunnel to the snapshot that had the data before it was deleted. You query for the exact data you want, and then you restore it back into the collection. It's that simple. Well, now you have a better understanding on the power of MongoDB Atlas, our fully managed database as a service solution. You know that you can be up and running in minutes with a fully featured, enterprise ready, fully secure MongoDB cluster deployed with MongoDB best practices. If you want any more information on MongoDB Atlas and how you can utilize it, contact your account executive. Thank you so much for watching this video, and until next time, see you later.